non-stick pans and stainless steel pan. Eggs on both of them. Let's go. Wait for this pan to get hot enough. Ensure it is dry. If it is not dry, let the water kind of go away. Little bit of oil. You don't need a whole lot. Crack an egg. Hopefully this has worked. Add some pepper, salt and at this point you'll see the yolk breaking. So we'll take a break and wonder why. God gives his toughest battle to the strongest soldier. Now that we are back from grieving, let's try again. Okay. We will get it out. Ready. We'll now do something very similar, but on a stainless steel pan. The difference in stainless steel and non-stick is that all steel, all pans have little cracks in them. In these cracks, if you, if you don't add enough oil, after heating, these cracks will not open up enough or open up wide enough and egg will seep in and get caught. Wait for all the water to boil off. Then we are going to wait till this reaches the temperature that we call water's dancing temperature. More technical people call it uh, the Leiden frost effect and uh, there is a whole bunch of stuff that you can do around it but uh, it's more interesting to call it the water dancing temperature, right? Let it heat. Till then, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. A few minutes later. Ooh, some bit of dance is happening. I will add in some oil. Remember all the oil here is going to go into the cracks of the heated stainless steel and fill them up. So that the egg does not go in there and sit. I'm going to spread the oil out. I'm going to crack this egg into this thing. Let's open the lid and as you can see, we have the very tender and intact yolk with a crispy and brown bottom. So you'll see this is made on a stainless steel skillet. This is made on a non-stick. The state of both of these vessels, no sticking here and very surprisingly and impressively no sticking here either right you will see actually both eggs are really difficult to separate from each other in texture decently cooked quite nicely cooked both of them but the most important thing to notice both of them are equally clean or equally dirty depending on uh, who's doing the cleaning Nice and lovely. This one slightly cold, but has, has enough of the runny in it. We actually left it on the side for a little bit. Okay. Stainless steel can work exactly like uh, Teflon, but will last much, much, much longer.